How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video I'm going to be covering an incredibly important and effective FPS optimization technique in which you can utilize on practically all GPUs. This is one of my favorite features which is available on most modern GPUs and so many people still don't make use of it. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment methods such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. The option we're going to be covering in this video is integer scaling. We'll dive deeper into what integer scaling is later on in the video, is it allows you to take lower end resolutions and have them scaled properly to your native resolution without any of that horrible stretched blurry mess that you get when setting lower resolutions in games now. You may be playing one of your favorite games or looking to get an FPS boost so you've lowered your game's resolution in any game. Once you set that lower resolution, you've noticed when you've gone back into your game, it looks incredibly blurry, text isn't sharp, everything's just a mushy mess. This allows those of you on 1440p displays to utilize resolutions like 1280 by 720, or for those of you on 4K panels, to utilize either 1080p or 720p. That might not sound too exciting, but the great thing about integer scaling is those resolutions look sharp, clear, and very detailed. They don't look as good as your monitor's native resolution, it never will, but the point of this video is to show you this technique and show you how crystal clear these resolutions can still look, provide you with phenomenal FPS boosts, which you'll more than likely want to make use of on hyper-competitive titles where FPS and latency matters. You aren't going to want to use this in single-player games, but for those of you on lower-end GPUs or even high-end systems looking to get the absolute best FPS possible, this could be a more useful option than utilizing DLSS or FSR as you won't get any of the input latency penalties from utilizing those techniques. And it takes just a few seconds to set up on Intel, AMD, or Nvidia GPUs, and once it's set up, you can turn it on and off just by adjusting your resolution in any of your favorite games. This is a feature built into these GPUs, we aren't going to be going in and modifying anything, and it takes just a few seconds to turn on or off. If this does interest you, I would highly recommend you at least follow along with this video, turn it on, try it out for yourself, try it on some other games, and see what sort of performance increases are available to you. Because for those of you out there like myself, I utilize this on practically all multiplayer games where I don't care too much about the graphics. The first step in setting up and utilizing integer scaling is to set it up on your GPU, whether that be an AMD Radeon GPU, Intel GPU, or Nvidia GPU. Navigate over to your desktop top, right click and open the control panel for either AMD Radeon, Intel Arc or the Nvidia control panel. For those of you utilizing the AMD Radeon control panel, navigate up towards the top, go to the gaming section, go over to global display. The options you're going to be looking for are down by GPU scaling. First of all, ensure that GPU scaling has been enabled, then set the scaling mode to full panel. Last but not least, you'll then find the option for integer scaling if it's supported for your system underneath this and enable this. Navigate to the top left hand side to adjust desktop size and position. You then need to select the monitor you want to enable integer scaling on. You can enable it on all monitors, but there's no real point. You should only really enable this on the monitor in which you're actually playing your games on. For me, that's this LG Ultra Gear monitor, so I've selected that. Then navigating down to the option for integer scaling. Integer scaling must be performed on the GPU. Once that's then selected, ensure that your maximum refresh rate has been selected. Go to the bottom right and select apply. Another bonus optimization of utilizing integer scaling, especially for those of you on Nvidia GPUs, is that you can actually navigate over to the Manage 3D Settings tab and utilize the old Nvidia Sharper mode, which used to be available inside of the control panel, but no longer is, unless you are utilizing utilizing integer scaling or if you do a registry edit. So if you do want to add the sharpening filter to any of your games in the future, all you need to do is navigate over to program settings, navigate down to the drop down menu and select the game application you want to add sharpening to. Let's say I want to add it to Apex Legends DX12. I can select that game, go to image sharpening, go to the drop down menu, turn this on and set your custom settings. These are complete personal preference, but I really like the default. Select OK and that's the sharpening setup on top of integer scaling to give you an even crisper image. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, you can also enable sharpening inside of your games by going up to the gaming tab. I would recommend setting up Sharpen on a per game basis, so navigate down to your favorite games within inside of this list. Let's say I want to add this to CSGO. Then all you need to do on the left hand side is scroll down to the middle section where you'll be able to find Radeon Image Sharpening or RIS, enable this setting, and again set the sharpness to your personal preference. I personally like about 30% on Radeon GPUs. And whilst we're in here, another quick tip to further customize your games, you can also set up custom color profiles by enabling this on the right hand side on any game, navigating down to your saturation, and that's just a quick and easy way to boost the saturation or vibrance of the colors on any particular game if you didn't already know about that. So now that we're at the stage with integer scaling now enabled on our GPUs, we can then boot into the game and select some of the integer scaling resolutions that are available because not all resolutions support integer scaling. It's also worthwhile noting if you do enable integer scaling on your GPU, you will no longer be able to utilize custom resolutions that are not scaled to your monitor's aspect ratio. If you're not entirely sure what I'm talking about, if you have custom stretched resolutions, they will not work if you are utilizing integer scaling. At that point, all you need to do is boot into any of your favorite games. 
difference. Integer scaling isn't just supported on some games, it's to do with the resolutions the games are running, so it works across the board on absolutely every game. As I mentioned in the intro of this video, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this on single player titles because you will be giving up some visual fidelity. The main reason we're using integer scaling is so that we can get a major FPS boost but keep the visuals nice, crisp and clear. There will definitely be a graphics downgrade from utilizing this, but the point of utilizing integer scaling is to keep your game looking crisp, clear and not some mushy, stretched mess. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to utilize Apex Legends, but again, this works on every single game. Before we jump into the resolution settings, it's worthwhile noting that the resolutions which will be available to you to use integer scaling will be different depending on the resolution of the monitor in which you are using. Again, this isn't really recommended for those of you utilizing 1080p because the only resolution you'll be able to run that will be integer scaled will be 540p, which basically isn't available anyway. That's why this is mainly recommended for those of you utilizing 1440p or 4K monitors. With that information, take yourself into the escape menu of your game, head over to the settings panel, and find where the in-game resolution setting is. For me on Apex Legends, it's found here. You can see that I'm utilizing a 4K display. So there are two main resolutions in which I can make use of, which will be integer scaled for a 4K display. Those resolutions are 1920 by 1080 and 1280 by 720, which are thankfully both supported by Apex Legends. If you're utilizing a 1440p monitor, the only resolution you'll really be able to make use of will be 1280 by 720, which is found here. If you happen to set a resolution that cannot be integer scaled properly, once you apply this resolution, notice that your game is running in some some weird sort of boxed window and that's because the game cannot be stretched to your full panel utilizing integer scaling. It can only be displayed one to one which will still give you a really crisp image but you will have those black borders around your image. So make sure that you are only utilizing resolutions that can actually be integer scaled to your monitor. With that being said on this relatively balanced system running an RX 6600 and a Ryzen 5 5600 CPU at 4k which is this monitor's native resolution I'm getting about 86 frames per second. If I go ahead and press escape never get down to settings video because I'm on a 4k display I can go with 1920 by 1080 or 720p. I'll try out 1080p first, hit apply. You'll notice that the game isn't running in any windowed mode because it's being one-to-one -one integer scaled. You should be able to notice that the graphics inside of the game still remain extremely clear and sharp. Yes, this is not as good as an image as a native 4K image. We're not going for that. The main thing we're looking to apply is a crisp, clear image with a lower resolution. You can mainly see this, especially when you look at text elements with inside of the game, you'll see a night and day difference. We're able to go all the way from 86 frames per second in this case up to 244. But then go back to the resolution setting once again, I can then also go down to 720p because this also works on 4K displays. Select yes, go back inside of the game, and as you can see, we're now hitting the 300 FPS cap with inside of Apex Legends pretty easily, and we're staying below 80% GPU usage. Not only that, we're also utilizing less power for the GPU, so it's going to be running cooler for longer, putting less strain on the system, even though we're getting way higher FPS. Yes, we are now running a 720p image on a 4K display, but the main important thing is this image is still usable. It's incredibly crisp, sharp, and clear. If you set a 720p or even 1080p image, image on a 4K or 1440p panel and you don't use integer scaling, it's going to look horrendous and it's going to be practically impossible to play with. And if you decide you want to increase the resolution in which you're using or just stop integer scaling, what you need to do is go back to the settings menu in your game, find the resolution setting, either set this to a higher resolution if you have higher resolutions available, or just set it back to your monitor's native resolution. You will no longer be utilizing integer scaling and everything will be running how it was before you changed anything. It's just that simple and easy to set up on any game. Here we have another example of a different game. All you need to do is navigate inside of the settings menu, find the video display menu, and find wherever the resolution setting is for your game. At that point, use the same formula for the resolutions which are available if you're on a 1440p or 4K display. Select one of the resolutions which is available to you. If it doesn't look sharp enough, remember that you can utilize NVIDIA image sharpening or Radeon image sharpening to further boost the sharpness with inside of the game, and fine tune those settings to find a fine balance for yourself. Many of you watching this video will more than likely not want to utilize integer scaling on many games, but I guarantee you there will still be some titles that you're looking to get the best FPS possible on, and all you care about is a crisp, clear image image where integer scaling really comes into its own and offers phenomenal value. Last but not least, here are some benchmarks from some popular titles which I personally use integer scaling on so you can get a decent idea of what sort of performance improvements are available. Yes, these are performance improvements from utilizing a lower resolution, but with integer scaling, we're now unlocking functionality that otherwise probably wouldn't be used anyway. And if at any point you want to turn off integer scaling or revert everything back, simply boot into your control panel settings and set it back to the default settings for either Nvidia, AMD, or Intel control panels. Once that's done, your default settings will be running, integer scaling will no longer be enabled. Integer scaling can work absolutely phenomenally on really old titles or even 8 or 16-bit titles, especially for those of you looking to make use of any emulation, or playing older games which simply do not support higher resolutions on PC. For those of you utilizing laptops, unfortunately the only way you're going to have integer scaling working is if you're running on a laptop that supports G-Sync or FreeSync on the laptop's internal display. If your laptop does not support G-Sync or FreeSync on its internal display, integer scaling will not work, you won't be able to select the option, and unfortunately it won't be supported. The only way you'll be able to get integer scaling working on a laptop that doesn't support G-Sync or FreeSync is if the laptop has
has a MUX switch, in which you can do some Googling around for your laptop model to see if it does. You'll more than likely have to boot into the BIOS to disable or enable this. And the last option for those of you that don't have any of those is to utilize an external display by plugging your laptop into one of your favorite monitors and utilizing integer scaling on the monitor itself. This won't be a massive option for those of you utilizing laptops anyway, because it's only really worthwhile utilizing on gaming laptops which support QHD or higher resolutions. Let me know which games you're going to be utilizing integer scaling on and what resolution you're going to be playing at from now on. Alongside the sort of performance increase you were able to see on your system as it's fantastic to get a discussion going on in that comment section down below. Alongside that, if you're looking for more optimization videos across all things to do with PCs, make sure to check out one of the two videos on screen now and I'll see you guys over there.